Okay, it's time for another Affinity Photo tutorial. After yesterday's uh, video, somebody asked me to demonstrate the gradient map method of creating that outline glow. So this is what we're going to create, and this is what we're going to start with. So let's get rid of everything here. So all I did here is I'm going to add in a black background, but I'm going to deselect that for right now. What we need to do is we need to cut out our character, first of all. So I'm going to get the selection brush here, and I'm really quickly going to mask him out. So we'll speed this up for the sake of the tutorial. Okay, once we've got him selected, we'll go ahead and refine that real quickly. Take a look at it. I'm just going to smooth it out by like half a pixel and then we're going to apply that so that's our selection now to punch him out we're going to hold down command and hit the mask button so now he's masked and we'll deselect him so now we can put him over our black background so now what we need to do to create the gradient map outline effect a lot of people use this in Photoshop we need to create a certain um, layer structure so we're going to come up here we're going to add in above our character, a blank pixel layer. We're going to reset our colors, and we're going to fill that layer with black. Then we're going to add another blank pixel layer above that. And then above that, we're going to add in our gradient map. And as our gradient map, we always want our leftmost control to be black on that. And then for this tutorial, we're going to give him kind of a blue glow. So we'll pick a, like a darker blue here. And then we'll insert another node there. Go with a little bit of a brighter blue on this. And then we want our last node over here to be pure white. And then we can spread these out a little bit. So that's going to be our... Uh, our gradient effect right there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to group these layers, the gradient map adjustment, the blank pixel layer, and the black layer. And we're going to group those together and we're going to give them a blend mode of screen. And right, let's just rename this glow line. Alright, so what we're going to do here is we're going to reset our colors to black and white. We're going to come over to our brush tool um, make sure that we're painting with white and we'll open up our group and we're going to paint on this blank pixel layer. So on this one we want our hardness to be right at zero and our flow, I got it at about 61 right now and we're going to reduce our brush size quite a bit here. Now when you do this with a mouse, unfortunately it takes a lot longer than with a stylus. So I'm, you know, for the sake of the uh, tutorial I'm just going to speed this up. All right, once we've done that part, we can make the brush a little bit smaller if we want to add in other little bits of highlight. Like if you look right here on his eyebrow, he's got a very prominent brow. So we'll just put something in there. Maybe a little bit down here on his cheek, not much. This is to taste again. So we're just going to leave that as is right now. So that's our glowing outline. So now what we need to do is we need to create the glow behind our character. So to do that, we're going to take this group that we just created and we're going to duplicate it, Command J, and we're going to drag this copy of it below our character. And we're going to change the name to Background Glow, BG Glow, B Glow, you know what I mean. All right, and then in this one, what we're going to do is we're going to delete this layer here and we're going to add in another blank pixel layer between the black background and the gradient adjustment. And so what we'll do here is we'll reset our colors and we'll make sure that we grab our brush tool. We're painting with white. We're going to go with a really big brush on this. Zoom out just a little bit. And we're going to pop some color in behind him. That's plenty. So now what we need to do is, since we have this color here, we want to add that glow to his highlights. And that's an actual pretty easy thing to do at this point. We'll come to the top of our stack, and we'll add a blank pixel layer. 
We're going to change the blend mode on this to color dodge. And we'll go ahead and grab our brush. And we're going to sample this blue color somewhere around the middle of the glow like that. Grab our brush, make sure we're painting with that color there. Bring our brush size down some. So if this was hitting him, uh, we'd see some glow up here on his hair. We'd see some on his brow, probably nose there, cheek. We'd have some fall off on his shoulders. Maybe across his clavicles. And it looks like he had a little bit of highlight here on his chest. And now that there's a little bit of overspray on that, obviously, but what we're going to do to clean that up is we're going to select the mask from the character layer here and then just option click and drag it onto this pixel layer and that will clean up. It'll only be on him. Now all I would do at this point probably is I would come down to the, uh, the glow line effect since it is very prominent there. And let's go ahead and give it a, uh, a little bit of a Gaussian blur. And there you go. A very easy way to go from this to this. So anyway, if you learned something from that, please give me a like or think about subscribing to my channel. And until next time, peace. Talk to you later. Bye.